two. Ladies and gentlemen, these two are not first timers. They've done their battles before and both have a win loss record of losses. Okay, so. Uh, you ready for your next battle? Yes? Yeah. Yeah. Now, please on stage, Kuba and Juni! Juni over here, Kuba Sora over here. Drunk. <laughs> How do you feel about this? Um, he's definitely drunk. Hopefully he's fine. <laughs> all right, now, uh, Cooper, if you just stand back here for a second, so the judges get a good look at you. All right, judges, who do you think is going to do it better, Cooper or Johnny? Um, I think no matter who wins tonight, we'll all be losers. <laughs> These dudes look like they're on a boxing gym where they teach you how to beat women. <laughs> I think the winner will be Cuba. I want for Cuba. Uh, Ju Juni is like a small Asian guy. I feel like if Cuba was any taller, Juni would climb him to find coconuts. <laughs> Before we start, Rox is. Oh, wait, audience, who do you think is going to do better? Make some noise that Cooper's going to do it better. Make some noise that Junie's going to do it better. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, so, Rox's paper, so you start. On three. Oh, we got one, two, show. Yeah, one, two, show. Alright. One, two, three. Okay, you want to go first? Cooper's going first. Alright, you guys ready? So we got Johnny here. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about Johnny before I roast him, okay? So he's a 40-year-old gay Filipino guy. Uh, he's... Wait, you're gay, right? I can't be. Okay. He's, uh, he's divorced with two kids. Um, this isn't even the roast. He, he lives in Penrith and he works at a jail. Uh, he also rides a bike to work. Um, look, I just thought, you know, I'd give him a bit of introduction and, you know, it's kind of like, fuck, man, it's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just, I've heard about him a lot, but I don't even know, right? I mean, Have you started yet? Uh, yeah. <laughs> fuck, how are the guys already cooked? Um, <laughs> Cooper's, Cooper's not the brightest guy. The, the, the first time he, he and his friends were in a train and the girl, he tapped it with his Opal card. Oh. Institution funds. <laughs> uh, Juni, Juni. He's, uh, he's divorced, I mentioned that. Yeah. That's kind of sad. I should probably make a joke about it. You know. Well, uh, yeah, Juni's divorced. Uh, his wife took the kids. And uh, you know, every time he goes to take a family photo now, it's just a selfie. <laughs> Thank you, Super Hack Gorilla. Cooper looks at 12 year old girls the same way he looks at girls on a deathbed. He's like, oh, it's a little more time. <laughs> yeah, Johnny is 12. <laughs> Didn't I see you in the sound of freedom? <laughs> No, I did. You were holding up your debit card. <laughs> Sound of Freedom is a movie about child trafficking. The joke is, is that he's a pedophile. <laughs> anyway, so Johnny, um, fuck man, I heard a story about Johnny. He was taking his dog for a walk and he got mugged. Apparently his attackers fucking rolled him and took all his shit. And his dog did nothing. The dog just fucked off. Man, where'd you get your dog from? The same place you got your ex-wife? <laughs> Thank you for waiting, Kramer. <laughs> um, is a big dude. I think he should play NRL. What do you reckon? Yeah, yeah. He's like, he's Samoan, he's fucking huge, and he's a rapist. <laughs> Are you Samoan? No, I'm not, oh, bro. Like two out of three. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, Johnny's so short, but he gets in the shower and turns the hot water on. 
By the time it hits his head, it's already cold. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that wasn't even a joke. Was, he does shower, believe it or not. I mean, you probably can't tell by the smell, but he, he does. Um, yeah, Juni went to Thailand to learn Muay Thai. Uh, he went there and uh, he thought, you know, I'm going to go out and night of the town. But he couldn't attract any women. So he thought, you know what? I'll switch sides and start fucking men. So yeah, Junior was there doing a bit of bang cock. <laughs> and when he left, he had sore shins and a broken ass. That's right, Johnny's a, Johnny's a kickboxer. He, uh, he kicks his boxes off and lets all the men go ham. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hackleman. <laughs> Kubi used to be a professional cage fighter, but he had to retire, unfortunately, because the cage kept winning. That's my knockout. Last one. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, uh, Juni, um, Juni uh, actually works at, at a jail, um, but his asshole is so big that they had to tear down the entrance of the jail, and they just have him standing out in front of it like this. <laughs> That's his fucking job. Yeah. 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 So much traffic, that to install speed humps in his ass. So Koo is Aboriginal and his missus is Middle Eastern, which means she finds the oil and he sniffs it. <laughs> Judges, who do you think did it better? We'll start with Dave. Uh, Jimmy. <laughs> All right. Can I, can I just mention that the sound effects you're hearing tonight are just from a guy. Don't fucking die. It's just one guy doing a sound effect. He, he should win at this battle. Um, I guess uh, Johnny by default. <laughs> All right. Um, I was also going to say Johnny, but I feel bad now. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say Judy. <laughs> All right, Judy. Now, audience, you decide who gets to the next round. Make some noise if think Cooper did it better. Make some noise if think Judy did it better. <laughs> <laughs>